Five years ago, I entered the recruiting industry, really excited about making a change. I saw an opportunity to use data to completely change the way that we hire people. Even though I had zero years of experience in recruiting, I knew that with enough data, algorithms could predict who you should hire better than any human. And as I learned more about recruiting, I learned how wrong I was. <laughs> data is incredibly powerful, but data alone can't help you bring great talent into your organization. And in hindsight, this should have been ultra obvious to me. Because no algorithm would have ever predicted that I'd be here on stage with you today. And that's because I dropped out of high school my junior year. No algorithm would have predicted that either. I come from a loving family of two parents that are doctors. I made great grades in school. So why am I here? I'm here because of a relationship. A relationship with somebody who believed in me, who saw potential in me, and who wanted to work with me. That person was willing to take a risk on me, and that developed into a company called Bright, which was acquired by LinkedIn 18 months ago. I am here with you today because of a relationship. And I'm positive that I'm not the only person in this room who's advanced in their career because somebody believed in them. I'm sure you can think of someone who believed in you and gave you that opportunity. And sometimes it's us, the ones who are believing in others and giving them opportunities. For us in the talent space, we see this when our employees put their reputations on the line and say, I believe in this person and I think they should work with us when they refer them. It's what makes referrals such a great quality source of hires. I mean, who here has a referrals program in place? It's got to be more than that. I only see 90% of hands. Okay, virtually all of us do. I know that when I have a new role that opens up on my team, the first thing I think about is who that I work with knows somebody who would be great for that position. Unfortunately, more often than not, I'm not hearing the response that I'm looking for. Is it because my team's lazy? I don't think so. I have a great team. I mean, who's ever been in this situation before? I'm out getting lunch with my friend Lee, and he asked me, are there any marketing opportunities at LinkedIn that I should consider? And I think to myself, Lee is amazing. How could I have ever forgotten about him? Well, for starters, I work in product, and when I'm thinking about my network to refer for our open opportunities, it's about the roles that I know about, which are in product, not in marketing. And as highly as I think of Lee, because he is amazing, my professional network far exceeds the amount of people that I can keep top of mind at any one point. But in this case, Lee came to me. So what do I do? I want to help him. Do I ask him to go on our career site to see what roles we have open for him, or should I go do that for him? Do I go figure out who the marketing hiring manager is, or do I go reach out to a recruiter? Do I ask Lee to send me his resume? And by the time that we go back and forth several times, am I going to remember to properly submit the referral? Hopefully. Wouldn't it be awesome if I could just grab my phone, type in Lee's name, and instantly see all the roles that we had available for him that he'd be qualified for, and refer him with the click of a button? I think that would be awesome. And exactly how much awesomeness are we talking about here? Well, the average person in this room has 1,974 connections. That's a lot of potential referrals. But that's not the opportunity I'm talking about here. I'm thinking way, way, way bigger. Have any of you wondered about the number that's on your badge, lower left-hand corner, what it is? I secretly planted that. That number represents the total amount of first-degree connections your employees have combined. On average in this room, it's 600 
in 15,000. That is a lot of potential referrals. And I guarantee you that none of us are taking full potential, full opportunity of this potential. Which is why I'm incredibly excited to announce our brand new LinkedIn referrals product. The first thing I see on this page is all of the open opportunities at my company matched up to the people in my network that would be a good fit for them. What makes this so powerful is that many of these recommendations I would have never thought of. For example, Jesse, who's an art director, would be a great fit for one of our designer positions. If I thought she was a good culture fit, I can, re I can refer her to apply with a click of a button. But what if I have someone specific in mind, like Lee from earlier, who was looking for that marketing position? Well, all I have to do is go up to the top, type in Lee's name, and I'll instantly see all of the opportunities we have available that could be a good fit for him. Like the senior marketing manager position on our sales solutions team. His culture and that team would be a perfect fit. So I'm going to click refer and kick off the process. I get prompted to either send him a LinkedIn message or an email. Of course, I'm going to send him a LinkedIn message. And attached to that message, which can be customized, is a link to the job. Because it's really important that Lee confirms that he's interested in that opportunity before we submit this referral. We want to make sure that the referrals that we generate are very high quality. So I click send, and I kick off the process. In less than a minute, we just referred Lee together. So now that we've taken all of the open opportunities at your company and matched them up against all of your employees and their networks, have we completely solved the referrals problem? Not quite. We've spent a lot of time trying to understand why our employees are not referring more. And the feedback that we've heard has been both consistent and clear. The black hole problem is real. People feel uncomfortable putting their reputations on the line, both when they're referring people to our company, but also with the person that they're dealing with when they have no visibility into the process. So we've solved for that. Now I can see all of the people that I've referred and where they are in the process, not only so that I feel more comfortable, but so that I can help. For example, Lee. If in a few days from now he still hasn't applied, I, I get prompted to follow up with him. Or my friend Mary, who we, who's at the offer stage, I get prompted to tell her congratulations, to remind her how excited I am that we're going to get the opportunity to work together, because I want to make sure she accepts that offer. Now you're probably asking yourself, how are we making this possible? Well, for the first time, we're integrating into your applicant tracking systems. This is a first for us from a talent solutions perspective. But we know the value that it's going to generate for all of you. There's three things that I want to call out that this enables. The first is your back-end workflow will not have to change. When a referral is submitted, it'll end up in your ATS systems. Second, it allows us to complete the feedback loop so we can provide robust analytics to help you understand what's going on in the process with your program which functions are behind, which departments are ahead, to give you control. And third, to provide visibility to your employees. They not only feel more comfortable referring, but so that they can help in the process. This is going to be available starting in November with the ATSs that you see behind us. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to do to all of our referral programs. Internally, since launching this at LinkedIn last month, we've already seen an 80% increase in our referral applications. Now, this year hasn't been just about building new products like referrals, but reimagining the products that we use every day. For us, that starts with Recruiter. 
And I've spent a lot of time this year speaking with many of you and with our internal talent acquisition team to understand your experience with Recruiter. I wanted to know the good and the bad. And overall, the feedback has been great. People are finding a ton of value from the platform. But as you know, with every performance review, there's always a section of room for improvement. So I'd love to walk you through ours. For starters, our hardcore users, especially those of you who know Boolean, are crushing it. But for those of you who aren't in the platform all day long, we can make it simpler and more intuitive to use. The insights that we have on our 380 million members are amazing. I'm sure many of you have thought before, what could be done if you just had access to that at your fingertips? Well, I wonder what we could do in product for you. Higher response rates are something that we're always thinking about. For those of you who attended Brendan Brown's session yesterday, you learned about the power of affinity. That when we reach out to people who are connected to our organization and to our employees, they're much more likely to respond. What if every time you committed a search, we could put a spotlight on those people for you? And lastly, Reimagining things sometimes means doing things differently. Imagine being able to tell us, these are three people that I think are amazing, are ideal candidates, and we'd find people just like them for you on the platform. Because sometimes it's easier to, it's easier to describe who I'm looking for than what I'm looking for. I want to make all of these things a reality for you which is why I'm incredibly excited to announce the next generation of LinkedIn Recruiter. You guys ready to see some cool shit? Well, before we jump in, I want us all to imagine something. We're a recruiter sitting at our desk, and a hiring manager rushes up to us and tells us that we need an architect in Seattle immediately. And before we have the chance to ask any questions, they disappear on us. Looks like we're hiring an architect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to type in architect. That's what we're looking for, for one in Seattle. Oh, that's useful. I'm being shown trending skills for architects in Seattle. I'm going to go and add architectural design in AutoCAD. Kick that search off. The first thing I see is a brand new, beautiful recruiter search interface. Along the left-hand rail, you'll notice that we've started to incorporate insights and recommendations based on the architects that we have on our platform. And as we modify our search, these recommendations are dynamically changing, which is great news, because we just found out that architect we're hiring isn't one that builds homes. It's one that knows how to build big data platforms. So let's go and remove these architecture skills and add big data. I'm instantly shown the skills that big data architects have, like Hadoop and distributed systems. The titles I have, the companies I'm being recommended, the industries I should look at are all changing. If I had enough time, I could play with this for the next 30 minutes with all of you and show you how powerful it is. Unfortunately, I don't have that time. So in this case, I'm going to add Hadoop and scalability. And we're down to 1,900 people. So what do I do? Do I start at the top of the list? Well, that's historically what we would have done. But in this case, I need to reach out to people who are more likely to respond to me. That hiring manager is on my butt about getting this filled. What if I had the ability to reach out to people that were more likely to respond? Which is why we've built spotlights, which give you visibility into the different talent pools that exist so you can prioritize who you reach out to. For example, how about the 825 people that are connected to our employees? Or the 114 people that have engaged with our talent brand? They're followers of our company, or they've shared, liked, or commented on one of our updates. 
really putting that talent brand investment to work. The people who pertain to these two talent pools, these spotlights, are two to three times more likely to respond to you when you reach out to them, which makes sense. They know our people or they've engaged with our brand. Now, we're launching with seven different spotlights, but unfortunately, I don't, have, I don't have enough time to go through all of them. But I would like to talk to you about my favorite one. Remember when Dan Shapiro earlier mentioned allowing our members to press that button, to say that they were looking for something new, to be able to tell us what they wanted to do and where they wanted to do it and when they would be available for it? Well, imagine being able to see a spotlight that showed that to you. In Recruiter, you could see the people that were looking for that opportunity, who are much more likely to respond to you. This is something that I'm incredibly passionate about, because you could just imagine how powerful this could be. There's people who have the skills that we're looking for and are looking for new opportunities. And as companies and employers and recruiters, we're looking for people with those skills. Our ability to bring them together and remove friction from the process could be so powerful. I mean, just take a step back for a second and think about what good we could do if we could just remove this friction from the process. Now, I've had the pleasure of working with some of the most brilliant data scientists and engineers to build this platform that I'm incredibly proud of. I've just got one problem. I don't have enough of them. So what do I do? Well, not only do I not, do I not have enough of them, especially for those who are building these recommendations, I don't know how to describe exactly what they do. Because they're not just a software engineer. They also know about data science, and they know it's about search and recommendations and machine learning. What if I could just go and type in their names at the top? In this case, I'm going to put in two of the engineering managers that built this very specific platform. Please don't poach them. Abhishek and Shakti. And instantly, I see people on the platform that look just like them. The ability... The ability to take our best people, these guys are going to have a big ego after this thing, <laughs> and find people just like them is incredibly powerful. In this case, you'll notice that not only did we find engineering managers, specifically, who know about machine learning and feed personalization, but we've parsed all of the relevant skills when we did a similarity analysis across the two of them and put them there so that you can take the search from here. Helping you start your search is like a big step forward for us, letting you modify it and really be able to discover what are the things that made them them, what are the skills here that we didn't think about is really powerful. So with that, we made two big product announcements today. First is the brand new LinkedIn referrals product, which is gonna help you take all of your open opportunities match them to all the people that your employees are connected to and easily refer them. In our next generation of Recruiter, which has four big updates. First is a br beautiful brand new intuitive interface. Second is recommendations to help you expand your search. Third, spotlights to help you prioritize who you're reaching out to. And fourth, ideal candidates, because sometimes it's easier to describe who we're looking for than what we're looking for. This is going to be made available starting early next year via an opt-in program. You'll be able to opt in and out between the old and the new experience while we get this one perfect. And it's going to be a free upgrade for all of our recruiter users. I'm really excited about where we're taking things with Talent Solutions. This is just the beginning of the next generation of our products, where we take data and relationships and infuse them into everything that we do to help you change the way that you hire and make you more successful.